Any goodies in here? Goodies? Do you still exist? No? No. Alright then. This looks like the place. Very sinister. Very sinister indeed. It's so sinister we have two doors. I mean, you're up to like quite large levels of evil when you have two doors as opposed to one. Three doors! You have three doors! Most people only have one. I mean, two says you're quite evil. Three, we're talking like a fortress of badass. Jesus Christ. Annoyingly terrible flower people. Do you want me to kill all of them before I leave? There's a lot of plants here. Just as well I brought, like I said, big gardening tool. Alright. We good? Can you open now? Obviously not. Maybe it respawns. Alright, what's the shindig? Oh, I see. We gotta kill the flower in the wall or some crap. Alright, let's put my back to the wall so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, plan B. Plan B. Where are the Molotovs? Oh, Patrick, you stupid asshole! Oh, why can you not get a Molotov through there? Go away! Horrible plan, people. Why make this if you can't... Oh, whatever. Alright. Uh, no, let's not dynamite. Let's phosphorus shells this crap. Oh, come on, game! This is ridiculous! How on earth am I supposed to do this properly? A room full of stuff that hits you, you have to keep your shield on at all times, it doesn't stop respawning, and you can't get your face in the hole! Ugh. Right, let's fly to the ceiling. Therefore, they cannot hit us. I literally, I am literally going to rage. I am going to have a tantrum. It is not going to be funny. It's just going to be sad. It's going to be a 23-year-old man throwing a tantrum at a like, fucking 11-year-old game, 12-year-old game, because it's being stupid. All right. Look. Okay, does anyone want to tell me why that didn't work? Would I would love to hear a reason why I've got my shotgun full of fire. It fires fire. It's a very special shotgun. It's amazing like that, firing fire. It's quite a talent, in fact. No, I don't know many shotguns that can fire fire through... I'm sticking it through the gap. Like, like, do you want me to, like, throw skulls at it to open the gap? Maybe that's what I gotta do. Oh, I do! Of course! Of course! Because the big gaping hole I shot through and could throw Molotovs through wasn't good enough. No. No, not at all. Well, come here, you flowery fuck. Oh, now you'll catch on fire, like you wouldn't do it before, through the hole, which I shot through. No, you couldn't possibly do that. That would be sensible. Sensible, like, I don't know, a hole big enough for some bullets or a Molotov to go and blow up the flower in it. My God, man, what were you thinking? <sighs> don't you spin that at me, you cocky twat. Let's go. All right. No, you can't re- How do you respawn? What is that? There's two? Oh, of course there's two. Fine. Let me get the mega bastard skulls out. Come on, you flying fuckers. Let's kill something. Good job. We killed us a flower. Are you proud, Patrick? You are King Flower Slayer. King of the assholes. Good job, my friend. Quick, kill the invisible toss pots. Let's go full on. Oh, yes, I'm getting reamed from behind. Patrick enjoys a bit of that. A few sticks? Don't mind if I do, says Patrick. I'll take them. Invisible even better! Of course! <laughs> Duh. Go away, you horrible, sticky, thin little gits. I hope you choke to death on your own sticks. No, I hope you choke to death on killer flowers. Blow me. Everybody's already dead in here? Fabulous. Good. I'm glad to hear it. You! You're not dead yet! Let's change that! 
Let's make sure you're dead. Oh, you're dead now. Excellent. Cool. Give me some roots. I'll heal that crap. I don't mind going through rooms full of bullshit. Sure. Make double invisible dudes. Making sure I get stuck on one of them from behind. Excellent. Die, please, invisible men. I am going to take that stick and ram it so up, really hard up your pee hole, you're going to be pissing out sticks for the rest of your life. Good. Stay on the wall. You want to fight about it? Yeah? Your, your expression is stuck. You're like, ah, I'm in half. I know, I cut you in half. Go on in, you psychic bits. Oh no, look how scary you are. Mm, no, not the lightning. You know what? I can fly too, motherfucker. Yeah, you didn't think I could? You think, oh, that Irishman can't fly. He's not cool enough. No, I don't like Irishmen that can fly. Well, tough. I'm the flyingest Irishman in the world. Bollocks. I also just broke all my legs. All like ten of them. Come back so I can kill you. Alright, where are you flying Nova number two? We've got a date. A date with death, in fact. Come back! Ooh. Oh no, you died! Shocker. Excellent. Good, I'm glad it wasn't stuck or jammed. That would have been a shame. So, uh, Jim, we appear to be running out of ideas for what we should do now. Uh, we, we seem to be getting to some sort of summit, but uh, I can't think of anything interesting to put here. Well, Bob, how about you uh, you just put down some items, like before, and some filler enemies? That's what they won. I didn't save. Obnoxious. Oh, by the way, game, if you crash now, I hear you spinning up, you crash now, I will punch you. The king is coming. Eternal and undying, he will resume his reign. Oh ah, dear. And his mistress, the now and future queen. Soon we will embrace and preside over the new dominion. Indeed. Your king is a parasite, Bethany. I'll make sure you infect this family no more, and that your mighty king will feed the worms. What family? They're all dead. Impudence. You struggle against the ocean and don't even realize it. The power I acquired in this world pales to that which he possesses. His throne will be built on the bones of humanity. I promise you that'll not happen. It's time to steal your tongue. No, it is time for you to realize who you are fighting. Uh, a really hammy voice actress? Who knows yoga? Okay, extreme yoga. Very, very extreme yoga. Oh no, you're very flexible. What other chance? Yeah, that's my expression exactly. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. My god, you turned into a hot air balloon. How terrifying. Not the hot air balloons, they're my greatest fear. Right next to the sky, or maybe kittens. Whew, goodness me. God damn you, hot air balloon! Oh dear. Ah, right. You. I should probably find a way of killing these people quickly. If you stay there nicely for me, darling, while I kill you, I would appreciate that. Cheers. Oh uh, dear. I think they're giving power to, like, whatever our faces. Oh dear, let's not fall off. That would be embarrassing. Oh what, you're gonna summon all this junk at me? Come back, please! Oh, she's dead, I think. Yes. So let's just get rid of these obnoxious bellends. Alright, Bethany. Yeah, yeah. Is there a reason you're taking any damage, or have I got to find out so your gimmick? Have I got to shoot the back of your hot air balloon? Have I got to call you nasty names? Look up your skirt. Or just casually swipe the scythe as you float around doing bugger all because you're crap. 
Ugh. Ugh. Hey, how about that? I cut your head off. Hooray! Ooh, the standing stones. I wonder when you'd show back up, since you're only in the game for five bloody minutes so far. What have I done? Um... Are you having a flashback or someone come back to mock us? Bless you. Well, it looks like you've succeeded. You are full of surprises, Patrick. You've apparently learned to harness that stone's power quite effectively. Stone my ass. my entire family. Done what I could not. You even bested Kysinger. There must be some vengeful satisfaction there, eh? What is this vile lie? What's this? This is fate, old friend. I've spent the last 20 years fearing this moment. Your head Hoping came to off. Figure a way out of this curse. All I need is that stone you carry to end my misery. But I saw you die. You saw what you wanted to see. No. An old friend hacked down by his black sheep of a brother, yet slain by a weapon powerless to our curse. What? Of all people, Patrick, you should know the sole purpose of the scythe. I wish I could have planned on the hot-headedness of Ambrose, <laughs> but I couldn't have created a better ruse for myself. No way did you suspect me. You thought my siblings killed me, and your blind rage did the rest. <laughs> oh well, it matters little now. You've completed the work but... I could not. You were my friend. Why are you doing this? Because he's badly oh, written. Yes, what else? I guess we were friends once. But on that faraway continent, I felt the inevitable calling of my brothers and sisters. I was drawn back to this land, to the death that stirs beneath us. I died the day I saved you on that battlefield, seared by that blast from the Shaman Stone. However, I awoke from my death with lifeless eyes, enslaved to do the bidding of the king. I could no longer deny what was in me, but you unwittingly held the key. You can't think I'll let you get away with this, Jeremiah. You should be grateful I'm killing you. You won't like the world I've planned. Once I have the stone and drain the power of this old king beneath our feet, I'll show the world the true meaning of reality. You know what, Jeremiah? You talk too much. Hey, go figure. Well, why didn't we do that five minutes ago before he just, you know, went off on one? But good on you, Patrick. I'm actually quite surprised you thought of that and did that. Well done. You get you get one point. But you lose 50 for being an idiot. <laughs> Those are very light rocks. Whee! Forky Patrick and Mole! Whee! Oh. Well. Shit. Well, that's different. That, that's definitely different. Hey, look, he's happy. He's like, oh shit. Woo. Anyway, we're gonna have to leave this one to next time, unfortunately, because I am out of time. So we will kill the final boss next time, and it will be um, probably very full of disappointments, I imagine. Fuck you, game. <laughs>